So Martin Carruthers joins us after the 1-0 win over Alverchurch. Martin, it's been a, a brilliant season so far. Where does that rank so far in what you've seen from your team? Certainly um, right up there, you know, with the magnitude of the game. You know, the chance to get in the fourth qualifying round now. You know, one game away from the first round proper and it's unbelievable stuff. And we said to the boys before the game, you know, you know dreams are made in, in the FA Cup. You know, uh, the greatest cup competition in the world, you know, and uh, we wasn't interested in the performance tonight. It was just all about winning a game of football, you know, and to be fair to, to a man, you know, first off, I didn't think we were, were overly great, but they didn't cause us too many problems. And then we said, you know, he's going to give us a spark second half and up pops Ollie Bryan in the first minute of the second half with a... With a great strike, but you know the whole back four, you know Joe Wilson, Magsy, Fence, Billy Bennett, uh, Ross Durant were, were outstanding. You know um, I've criticised them this season so far, but they 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 were um, all magnificent tonight. Did the first was well, the fact the first half was so poor, should we say? Did that play into your hands, given you're playing higher level opposition? Yeah, yeah. Into the game level, it didn't matter how bad a game it was. Yeah, well we said we, we said you know we still got another 15, 20 percent. You know uh, they wasn't really earners, although they was keeping the ball. You know, he said, what a great opportunity. You know, we said, if we get after these, put them under a little bit more pressure, there's goals out there. Uh, you know, we, we would have liked that second goal to, to kill the game off and, and they threw everything at us, you know, towards the end. And we defended, put bodies on the line and Ross pulled off a couple of great saves and uh, nerve-wracking stuff at the end. But, uh, you know, delighted for everybody at the football club and, you know, it's uh, roll on the draw. And having lost the top scorer just before half-time as well and having to bring on an academy product in Rico Spencer, Sort of, it was a big blow, but Rico acquitted himself really well, I thought. All the young lads that have come in, you know, young Mitchell Tate, uh, young Charlie, and then Rico tonight, Elil Dill, when he's, when, when he's come on, they've, they've been superb and we've got no hesitation. We know we've got quality coming through the academy and we know they're ready. And we'll have no hesitation. We know they can come in and do a job at, at any given time. So, you know, uh, long may it continue. What's the uh, prognosis on Zach? What was his injury? He's got a bad whack on his ankle, so... Uh, it's quite swollen at the minute, a nasty cut, it was, it was quite a nasty challenge, so um, we'll reassess him on Thursday. Nat Watson's got a slight groin strain, uh, but we'll go again. But, you know, whoever's coming into the team, you know, we, we, we keep performing and keep on winning. So there's competition for places, you know, the, the team spirit is, 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 is getting better and better all the time now. So we're going to enjoy tonight and uh, go again Saturday. Great, thanks a lot, Martin.